Let's talk about the difference between a fixed price job and a cost plus job. Now whenever you create a new job, you're going to be able to choose a price type. That price type is going to determine how your profits are tracked throughout the job. So in this case, I'm going to leave it as a fixed price, but we'll switch it to a cost plus job here soon. So I'm going to get that job in here and I already have a budget added. Now I've just put in some estimating dollars here and I do not have a signed proposal quite yet. So when I'm ready to create a proposal, I'll just go ahead and click plus document and then I'll choose my proposal template. Now I want everything on that document, so we'll click create and now you'll see that it's showing all of my prices here and these all include my margin. So down at the bottom, I have a subtotal. It's a lump sum total that includes not only my costs of these items, but also the profit that I expect to earn. Now, if you're doing a cost plus job, you're going to want to turn on show cost and fee. This is going to show the cost of all of the project separate from your profits that you'll be walking away with. So therefore, it's a bit more transparent to the customer, but that is specifically what cost plus means. It's the cost of the project plus your profits. So let's go ahead and get this approved here real quick. So I'm going to just jump into the approved state. And now if I go back to my budget, we're going to see in the job costing section, I have an approved budgeted cost for this job that is informed by the proposal. Now in a fixed price job, this is your budget for the project. If you go over this amount for each of these line items, you're going to start eating into your profits. Therefore, your profitability for the project will decrease. Now, if this is a cost plus job, this is the baseline budget. And so if you go over these numbers, you're just going to pass along the cost and any um, additional profits to your customer anyways. So therefore, you're not going to be eating away at your profits necessarily. You're actually going to be tacking those onto the overages. So let's go ahead and create a couple bills in here so we can see what that looks like. So I'll create a new bill. And I'm just going to do Home Depot expenses real quick. And then I'll enter these totals in. So we will add in some numbers here. Okay, almost done. All right, now I'll click create. I have that bill, maybe I upload my receipt here, but I'm going to just quickly record the payment that we made yesterday for this, these purchases. Okay, now when I go back to my budget, you'll notice that because this is a fixed price job, we have gone over budget or over our budgeted cost for many of these items. So they turned red and therefore they're eating into our profits. So as you can see, they're all informed by the bill. So now we can see that once we mark those items as final, all right, we're not planning to spend any additional dollars in those lines. Now you're going to see how they're affecting our profits. Are, they, are we under budget or over budget on those lines? And then you'll also be able to see your, pro, your projected profit variance and how your profits were affected for this job. Our intended profit was 32.44% and we're now at 31.38%. Now if I change this to a cost plus job, let's go ahead and do so. I'm gonna click edit job, cost plus, update job. Now it's still going to be showing us the difference. However, we are adding profit because we have the overage. So therefore we're not necessarily in the red for our variance. Instead, we're just gonna be tacking on additional dollars and that will update once we do our invoicing. I'm also going to add a couple time entries to this real quick, just so that we can see what that looks like when we create our invoices. So I'm gonna go into my time and let's just select a couple entries here. All right, choose our job and we're gonna just choose standard time and we'll throw it all into our demolition line. Okay, Oop, and let me get that approved, perfect. Okay, so let's go back to our job. And you'll notice that we now have some time tracked in our demolition line. We went over budget on it. That's just fine for now. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go ahead and create an invoice for this. So I'm going to click plus document and choose my invoice template. 
And now we'll choose how much we want to invoice for. So let's assume this is a fixed price job. You're going to then choose just the percentage based on the total. So maybe I want to invoice 15% off the total, or I just want it to do a lump sum total of $4,000, that's 14%. Or you can also choose based on phase. So maybe I just want to charge for two phases of the project and maybe 50% off both of the phases. It's completely up to you with how you are invoicing in a fixed price capacity. So if I create this bill here real quick, oh, let's do 15% create. Now you'll see that we're charging the customer for the total price and it lists the total price as a lump sum at the bottom. Again, that includes your cost and your margin. All right, now I'm gonna just hit top level and show those progress amounts because that's how I like to do my invoices. So we'll save that. Let's go ahead and create an invoice that is more for a cost plus one though. So we'll go back to our budget and I'm going to click plus document. And here we're going to choose our invoice. Now, if you're doing cost plus, you're going to choose bills and time. That will allow you to pass along any bills that were created and any time that was logged within this job. So I like to use these filters so that you can see exactly what was invoiced versus what has not been invoiced yet. Currently nothing's been invoiced, so we're just gonna go ahead and choose the exact bills and time that we would like to pass on to the customer. And now I'll click create. And now it will show the total bills and time that we're passing along. And then again, I would encourage you to click show cost and fee, and that will show the cost of the project that we're passing on to the customer. And then additionally, it will show your profits that you're going to be charging for. So again, you can also show top level if you want to, and you can show the progress amounts if you'd like as well. So now we can save that and we have a cost plus invoice. Now, a quick note, you can always choose to set these settings as defaults on your document templates. So if you are doing cost plus projects, I encourage you to turn on show cost and fee on your customer order templates as well as your customer invoice templates. Then you don't have to do it every single time that you create one. Another quick note is if you choose to show the financial summary to your clients, then in their portal, they will then see different financial summaries based on what type of job it is. So let's take a look at this financial summary right now. Here you'll see the approved price, the amount paid, and the remaining balance. This is a fixed price job, so therefore they're seeing the price, which includes the cost of the project and the margin. However, if we change this again to a cost plus job, now I'm going to look at their portal. Now you're going to see the cost of the project to date. You'll also see the projected cost, projected total, the amount paid, and the remaining balance. So they can then really clearly see the cost of the project separate from the total of the project, which would include your profits. If you have any questions, please contact your customer success manager or go ahead and email support at jobtread.com. Thanks.